What's up, guys? Welcome to Weekly Weird News from Canada. Canada, but it's too cold outside, so deal with it. Yep, this is our hotel. Mm -hmm. Anyway, get ready to have your day ruined. According to a new recent article from the New Indian Express, a 42-year-old woman went to the doctor complaining of a weird, painful sensation around her nose and eyes, only to find out that what was causing that weird sensation was a live cockroach that had crawled up her nose while she was sleeping and was currently crawling around the area between her eyes and her brain. It's like a sequel to Joe's Apartment, mm. except the apartment is your mind. And these cockroaches aren't nearly as funny. <laughs> no, well, they might be. We don't know. Anyway, there you go. Cockroach in the brain. That's it for this week's show. Be yep. sure to leave a like and uh, sleep well, guys. We wouldn't just leave you here like that. No. We're just kidding. But yeah, that actually happened, uh, confirming a crippling fear we didn't even know that we had. Uh, except, what was it? The uh, What Star Trek movie was it? The Wrath of Khan, where he puts the thing in his ear? It was more like a leech. Yeah. But still, things in your yeah. brain. Kind of scary. Not fun. Luckily, doctors, they were able to remove the live cockroach from the woman's skull, though it did take a while. One doctor told the Times of India it was alive, and it didn't seem to want to come out. And would you? It's so nice and nah, cozy up there. This is my house. Yeah. It's all soft and warm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it took 45 minutes of trying suction and forceps to finally get the roach out, all while this poor, unlucky woman had to just sit there not moving while a war raged inside of her head. Not a fun time. Those things scurry very quick. Anytime yeah. you turn the lights on, all they had to do is keep flashing a light in there, and it'll go run out. If that happened to me, like, the rest of my life, I would have this look on my face. Just like... Probably because of the brain damage. Yeah, yeah, that too. Mm. Anyway, yeah, if you experience something like this, uh, where you're pretty sure that there's a live insect crawling around between your eyes and your brain, maybe you should go to a hospital immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, because according to these doctors, if the woman had instead just waited for the pain to go away... The cockroach would have just died up there and caused a really bad infection as it decomposed. So, this is actually the better option. The one thing that can kill cockroaches, the human brain. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you can at least take comfort in the fact that something like this happening to you is very unlikely. Mm -hmm. Or at least a lot less likely than a cockroach crawling into your ear while you're sleeping and hanging out in there. Because yeah. that happens a lot. There's multiple reports of it. You see it a couple times a year. And spiders crawling in your mouth while you sleep. Mm. Delicious. Yeah. But let's move over from India to its neighbor, Bangladesh, where a family came up with a very creative new way to scam their friends and neighbors. We don't really know a whole lot about Bangladesh, so we can't say that we totally follow the logic here, but this family claimed that they'd been visited by a genie who could grant wishes. And he played basketball, and he was seven feet tall, and his name was Shaquille O'Neal. Kazam? Is that it? Yeah, and then everyone thinks that uh, uh, Sinbad did one, too. Yeah. It's a weird Berenstein, Berenstain, Bears, yeah. Bears kind of thing. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> probably not the same genies. Uh, they were charging villagers money to uh, also have their wishes granted. And for proof that they indeed undeniably had uh, a real genie at their disposal, they showed off what the genie had done to their 15-year-old daughter. The genie had turned her into a boy and given her a big old dick. Yes, please. <laughs> wow, if he can give that girl a penis, then my debt should be nothing. <laughs> She's now a full human being. Yeah. Uh, of course, genies are not real, and young girls can't spontaneously sprout monster dongs. Mm -hmm. uh, so what was really going on between her legs was just a high-quality, anatomically realistic dildo. Mm. The family's genie penis story got so much attention from locals looking to make their own wishes, maybe for their own daughters to turn into well-endowed men, that the local police became aware of the situation, and rather than just immediately saying, well, obviously this is bullshit, and you're all fucking stupid for believing it, they performed a physical examination of the girl <laughs> and discovered that, uh, yeah, she was just wearing a fucking strap-on dildo, case closed. Dun -dun. Why wouldn't they, at this point, if they're lying so badly, just find a boy and have them say that it was the daughter? Next time. The scam is going to evolve. Yeah. It's a great scam. It's a good grift. Well, I, I don't know about that, but uh, <laughs> stupidity, stupidity, it isn't just confined to rural villages in southern Bangladesh. Americans are stupid, too, and uh, we've been providing a lot of evidence to back that claim for a long time. The latest piece of evidence comes from us via an eBay listing originating from Burbank, California, where our offices are located. Did we do this? Oh, no. <laughs> Is this our scam? No. Uh, it's an auction for uh, Gorilla Hot Cheetos. Rare, one-of-a-kind Cheetos, Harambe Gorilla. And uh, it sold earlier this week for a final bit of just under $100,000. Uh, 
This meme is not only not dead, apparently, its value is going through the roof in the meme economy. Bye now. Even Norm was tweeting about it. Oh, Norm. Norm he, Kelly? I think he said something like, people are stupid. Well. Yeah. Yeah, so the eBay listing description for this ultra-rare piece of processed corn and cheese reads, I opened up a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos, and as soon as I looked inside, I came across this unique Cheetos that looks like Harambe the Gorilla. This item is one of a kind. It measures up to about one and a half inches in length. Up to. <laughs> this item up for bid is only for this unique Cheetos, bag not included. Mm. This makes a great collectible for anyone who appreciates rare items. Okay, so it's not really clear who the lucky owner of the Harambe Cheeto is, or if this is even legitimate. But if you look at the bid history, there is a pretty serious bidding war going up and down right up to the very end, uh, with a handful of different users outbidding each other at a pretty rapid pace. If this is real, we just hope that the seller uses some of that $100,000 to make sure that the packaging is very good. Mm -hmm. It is a Cheeto, after all. Yeah. You know, for that price, you should probably be hand-delivering it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'd hate to be, you know, the person who spent $100,000 on a Harambe Cheeto, only to open up the box and find a bunch of worthless Cheeto dust. Yeah. But that dust is to do with as you please. You can eat it. You can... Put it on your fingers and it's lick yours. it. It's yours, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if the this The Cheeto is... ended up much like Harambe himself. Dead. Dust. Shot. <laughs> uh, I don't know if... He should donate it to the zoo, let's be honest. They should, yeah. yeah. They should put it on display in Harambe's old coat. <laughs> Come see the, the Harambe's Harambe Cheeto. Harambe's dead, but we got this Cheeto. <laughs> got it. Now... Uh, they, they just gotta... They, at this point, I'm sure that the sadness has left... No, it's just annoying to me. Yeah, it's just pissing We have a off. lot of other animals. Yes, our giraffes are beautiful. Uh, there's also, there's a bunch of, like, copycat Harambe Cheetos on sale on eBay. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Then They're not getting nearly as high, but there's a few going for, like, 25 bucks. Uh, the rare Cheeto trade on eBay is, is alive and well. Yeah. If you're looking for some quick cash, just go pick up a bunch of Cheetos, go through, see if it resembles Jesus or Harambe or Well, anything. I was just going to say that at least this is much more entertaining to the internet than when, like, Jesus Toast was around. Yeah. Only 90s kids remember Jesus, Jesus on toast. toast. Now you can just go do it yourself because, like, Urban Outfitters sells it. Yeah, they sell a, a toaster that puts Jesus on your toast, which is a great product. Who's eating to toast every morning? I don't know. People that stay at a lot of hotels because they yeah, include true. toast with every meal for some goddamn reason. Breakfast is a, is a trick. <laughs> yeah, breakfast is a bullshit meal. <laughs> it's, just, it's a bad meal. It's, it was made up by the crooked breakfast I know about industry. bad meals. <laughs> I know a lot about bad meals. <laughs> uh, <laughs> stop eating breakfast. Anyway, before we get into uh, the headlines part of this show, we got to give a quick word from this week's sponsor, Blue Apron, who we're very happy to have supporting this show with this paid promotion. Paid promotion. Uh, <laughs> Blue Apron ships you a weekly box filled with all the fresh locally sourced ingredients that you'll need to make three truly delicious meals at home. We use it, and it's made both of us go from knowing nothing about cooking to actually really enjoying the whole process. Some of the Blue Apron meals available in February, uh, and they include cashew chicken stir fry with tango mandarins and jasmine rice, mm. udon noodles with miso and soft boiled eggs, mm. roasted pork with apple, walnut, and farro salad, Ooh. and crispy barramundi with quinoa and roasted carrot salad. Blue Apron's recipes are always super eclectic, and they'll have you cooking stuff you never thought you could or never even knew existed. And there's so much variety that you'll never get the same recipe twice in an entire year. Wow. Mm -hmm. For you, our viewers, Blue Apron's offering your first three meals for free with free shipping. If you go to blueapron.com slash weekly, head over there, check out this week's menu. You're going to love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home-cooked meals with Blue Apron. So do not wait. Do it. Again, that's blueapron.com slash weekly. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. All right, let's get into some of the weirdest real news headlines from this past week, mm -hmm. starting with... The alt-right thinks Lady Gaga's Super Bowl performance was a satanic ritual. No, it was from SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. And it was also stolen from Pink. There's lots of weird theories, and I thought it was generally loved. I didn't see too much hate for it online. But then again... That's what they want. That's what the Illuminati wants you to think. They're turning the frogs gay. Yeah, it's true. I, I also don't follow Richard Spencer on Twitter, so I can't really see his every review of things going on. Well, this was... Uh, I don't know what Richard Spencer thinks about it. This is an Alex Jones joint. Oh, okay, uh, good. And I, sometimes I forget that Alex Jones exists. And then I remember, I'm like, wow, that's terrifying. Yeah. At least, uh, you know, he doesn't have the attention of uh, powerful, important people. And then I remember that he's friends with our president. Yeah. And, and has then, press uh, credentials at the White yeah. House. Well, <laughs> nice uh, crazy brain there. Why don't you bring it to the White House? <laughs> uh, 
it, even if it was a satanic ritual, very well done. Yeah. Perfectly performed. See you if soon, she's Lucifer. A Satanist, I'm a Satanist. Yeah. All hail Baphomet. <laughs> Notorious Oregon pig known as Piggy Smalls finally apprehended. Notorious P.I.G. Yeah. That's offensive. Is it, though? I don't know. I mean, this pig's pretty notorious. It was terrorizing locals for months and yep. evading capture. Mm-hmm. So I guess I... I mean, I know that they're just writing a cute headline, but... Lock him up. Yes. Yeah. He's been locked up. Well, he's at, like, an animal shelter. They should probably just kill him. Yeah. He's probably delicious from stealing all those people's crops. Put him into a SUV and have it drive off on... What is it? Franklin? In L.A.? Right at the, the auto about? museum. That's where Notorious oh, B.I.G. Jesus. got that's, shot. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm following now. Yes. Just had to catch up. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. And we all knew it was Suge Knight, but... Nobody's saying it. No one's saying it. It's another one of those Illuminati cover-ups. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure Alex Jones will be on the case soon. No, B.I.G., that was uh, that was fine. <laughs> that, nothing nothing out of the ordinary there. But they are turning the figs, uh, pigs gay. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Man gets stuck in chimney. Arrested for 77th time. Is it Was it the 77th time being stuck in a chimney? Illegally? I don't think so. But it was a 77th arrest in the same police department. Mm. Uh, was he trying to steal something? Or yeah, was he, he was just... Trying to rob the place. Oh, I'm just in here sweeping. Oh, man. I was like walking around and I fell down this chimney. Whoops. You know, it happens. It happens. Yeah. I want to see what the rest of his rap sheet's like. If, if, if it's like as interesting as this. Yeah, I don't know. Probably. Huh. I mean, he could have been, he might be a chimney thief, like, as his main career. Hey, you're stealing all my precious soot. Yeah. Soot farmer. Soot. Well, hopefully he uh, turns his life around, but I don't think that's going to happen. No. He's got uh, quite a streak going. Although, I'd be interested in seeing what he's going to do the next, uh, like, 23 times to hit that 100 mark before he uh, he dies. Yeah, you might as well go for broke. Exactly. So we'll keep your eye on you, man. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Mr. Man. Mr. Man. Where's he from? Mississippi, I think. Or have, uh, Louisiana. What do they have chimneys there for? It's never cold. I don't know. And That's a, why it's suspicious. It was a chimney at a business. I'm like, why does a business have a chimney? What are they doing in that chimney? Is it a pizza place? It's like one of those escape know. rooms, but it's designed after like Sherlock Holmes or something. Yeah. I don't know. It makes you, makes you think. <laughs> Can't get stuck in a chimney if there's no chimneys. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I like it though. I think he's just like, wow, that's odd. That place has a chimney. I I must investigate. Oh, no. Check it out. For everyone, uh, for everyone's good. Yeah. Uh, anyways, man pulls what appears to be a gun at all olives matter protest. This this whole story is ridiculous. Yeah. Some fucking pasta restaurant in Albuquerque, on their like marquee. Yeah. They put all olives matter like as a joke, and then a bunch. It of- would be more. It would be more creative if they put olives matter. Instead of all olives matter, that's too much. You're right. Uh, but they didn't. And uh, a lot of people who support Black Lives Matter were offended that they were oh, making, you think? making yeah. light of uh, yeah. a serious movement. So they were protesting outside the restaurant. They refused to change it. They're just like, nah. And then it's No, it's point, funny. It is funny. <laughs> a, you just don't get the, the joke. The joke is really, really funny. Uh, and then, yeah, at some point, some dude pulled up and was like flashing a gun at the protesters. Cause was it Josh Fier- Fierstein? Uh, Josh Fierstein here. Does he live in New Mexico? He lives in, uh, no, Arizona. Arizona. Well, it's not that far away. Could yeah, could have made the drive. They said I couldn't bring my gun across state lines, but you know what? I did it anyway. <laughs> it's tr- Trump's president. I was fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, they should just, like, with the next week, it's going to be, like, cash works inside. <laughs> Plenty of pasta. Because <laughs> of the girl. Yeah. She yeah. Her life is a mess. Yeah. She got in a fight on an airplane. Cash. Spirit Airlines, where you're almost guaranteed to punch someone. Yeah, I mean, they, they really set you up for it. Yeah. The jokes online were like, oh, she got banned from Spirit Airlines. Oh, no. <laughs> she should be punished by having to yeah. fly Spirit Air all the time. Yeah, that's true. But I, I do love that that's a great, like, view into the actual budget of the Dr. Phil show. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to fly you out here on the cheapest flight we can find. <laughs> and you're going to sit on a middle seat next to another terrible human <laughs> human being, probably from the other show that we filmed the other day. Dr. Phil's keeping him in business. Yeah. Domino's now has its own wedding registry. They're always on the forefront of new technology. For the, for the, yeah, they, they really are. Yeah, the tracker's great. Their app is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, uh, yeah. Good they, for them. They have that little, they were delivering pizza by, like, robots in New Zealand or mm-hmm. some shit. Now, 
you know, for the couple that has everything. <laughs> Buy them. You thought you had everything, but you didn't have dominoes in your life yeah. and in your wedding. Well, I mean, whatever. So there's got to be at least one person out there who's stoked about it. You know that. what I really want for my wedding? A pizza. A pizza? Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. And then you save the rest of the pizza in the freezer. Like, you save your wedding cake. Yeah. I don't know why people do Cut that. the pizza. Yeah. Oh, they, they cut it for us. Oh, damn it. The How nice of them. The Noid stole my first dance. <laughs> the Noid. <laughs> Avoid oh, the Noid. He steals pizzas. Man. They need That's, to bring him back. Yeah, bring back the Noid. Yeah. Quebec funeral directors trying to curtail funeral selfies. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, Sacre Bleu. They're taking <laughs> selfies at this, uh, these dead people. Yeah, they, they, they're they like the Funeral Directors Association of Quebec. They're like, how do we stop these people from taking all these pictures? They they don't know, like, how forcefully they have, like, do they put up the signs? They're trying to... They're trying to tell people whose family members have just died that they're being offensive. Yeah. Yeah. It's a hard thing. It's a hard issue to uh, get out in front of. It's a tough business. Yeah. So someone's got to do it. It's getting tougher with technology. Yeah. It's not like, uh, you know, south of the border where they uh, prop them up on motorcycles and, like, all kinds of stuff. Well, that's Puerto Rico. It's still south of the border. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I was talking about Antarctica. South of the border down in Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least those dead people are having fun. South of the border in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, anyways, uh, stop taking pictures of dead people. Yeah. Buddhist monk arrested in Myanmar with 4 million meth pills. Uh, it's a great strategy. And it's a great TV show concept. If they ever make Breaking Bad over there. Yeah. It's like, not a chemistry teacher, a Buddhist monk. Mm-hmm. Because he probably was like, I want to be a monk, but I didn't really think about how poor I'd have to be. Yeah. I didn't really uh, understand the whole vow of poverty aspect of it. Yeah, no, I saw a monk when I was there in Thailand on a, on an iPhone, and like the, the tour guide was like, yeah, it's kind of looked down upon when they... <laughs> <laughs> not a good look. Not a. <laughs> you don't really expect it. So yeah, no, it's a good cover because uh, they they monks get like extra special stuff. Yeah. They get private seating at like airports and yeah, stuff they like get that. Discounts at the the Starbucks. Sure. Do you have a monk discount. Yeah. Yes, we do, sir. And, uh, Be well. They get on a plane and the pilots like, just want to welcome our uh, our men in in orange. Yeah. Uh, thank got, you for your service. Yeah. Thank you for your service. For your sacrifice. Yeah. For this country. And for Buddha. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're doing math. <laughs> <laughs> In corruption riddled Romania, officials now allow room for modest abuses. The protesters are crazy. Apparently they the protesters won. They they have backed off from it, but That's yeah. good. Uh the whole thing's nuts. It's like all you have to do is be like, Do you remember what happened like 25, 26 years ago when uh politicians were corrupt assholes? And so we shot them. We dragged them outside and shot them in front of everyone and yeah. televised it, and people watched it for weeks straight, cheering. Mm-hmm. The whole thing too, they're like, uh like any if you Corruption that results in like under fifty thousand dollars worth of damages. It's just like you know we don't we don't want to crowd up the the prison system. There's yeah. just no room, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, and uh, obviously you can see why, you know, people who pay taxes and shit wouldn't really like that. No, not at all. So good for you, Romania. Yeah. Bored Royal Air Force pilot sent 187 passengers into a nosedive while playing with his camera. Yeah, he. Uh, why is he? Flying a commercial airliner if he's in the air. Oh, he wasn't. He was flying a bunch of troops to Afghanistan. Oh my god! <laughs> he's yeah, he's flying and he like had his new camera that he was like playing with it and he like dropped, <laughs> he dropped it and it like got lodged in a lever or something. So the plane was just like in a nosedive. Clearly, everyone was like stuck on the ceiling for it. Yeah, uh, that'll happen. And he's like, oh, it was uh, you know, something. I would have loved to have heard the over the air speaker announcement. After. Bloody fucking shit! <laughs> no, no, afterwards. Hey, sorry about that. Yeah. Literally nothing was wrong yeah, except for me. Uh, if that was human error that you just felt. Well, he claimed it was, like, he's being in, like, course marshaled right now because he lied and said. Well, wouldn't you? Probably. <laughs> it's very embarrassing. Yeah. But uh, the fact that he lied now has him in some pretty deep trouble. It's uh, The rush of, like, how but, good it would feel to survive that, though. Yeah. Would be pretty fun. They should do that to all the troops that are heading out for the first time. Yeah. Every time someone complains, they should just, like, with your, you're already tracking everyone. Yeah. Just get a bunch of, when they have a like, good group of complainers on a plane, just nosedive it. Yeah. And they just be like, ah, man, life. Whoops. I shouldn't complain so much. Life is pretty great. Yeah. So there you go. We all learned a lesson. <laughs> Especially the pilot. Yeah. 
He's <laughs> he's learning. You're not gonna have a plane to fuck around in anymore, buddy. Nope. Anyways, lots of time to spend on your tablet at home. Uh, there you go. Man told for years he was just fat has 130 pound tumor removed. That's unfair because he probably was at one point just gave up and started eating like a slob too. Uh, yeah. Well, it's a 130 pound tumor, so it's like he couldn't really move much. So yeah, you get a lot fatter when you're like confined to a lazy boy chair. Yeah. This is why lawsuits are good. And uh, he should sue for that. Oh, he a misdiagnosis. Yeah. For like a decade, and it, it all they, they think it started with a single ingrown hair. Hmm. Gotta watch out for those. Yeah, they'll turn into a 130. It's like that guy that tumor. just died uh, recently when he had like a toothache, <clears throat> and his uh, tooth had gotten infected and it spread to his lungs and he died. What? Yeah. Go to the dentist. Oh my god. Yeah, I do need to go to the dentist. Oh. Jesus. Anyway, that's it for uh, this week's episode of Weekly Weird mm -hmm. News. Uh, go watch. We did an uh, interview with John Wick. Well, you did it with Ke Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves, the person who plays. John I Wick. refuse to acknowledge the fact that. He is only playing a role. That man is John Wick. Well, he, if you if you watch the video, you'll find that he has really put a lot of his uh, heart and soul into it. So yeah. you could argue that he is John Wick. And uh, we also have some interviews from the Lego Batman movie, and we want to thank Phil Larigo for stepping in while we've been trapped in Canada to do those interviews. Go watch it. Support uh, Phil. We want to have him on the show as much as possible. So uh, make sure that you watch and enjoy that video and let him know how he did. Because otherwise, he's fired. Good day, eh? <laughs> Bye.